Hi, my name is Brett King. I'm coming from New Haven, Connecticut, uh, where I'm a associate professor of dermatology at Yale, and I'm super happy to be here at the SBS as a presenter uh, and director in the hair track uh, and uh, discussant in other sessions. So Jack inhibitors are taking the dermatology field by storm with several approvals for multiple dermatologic conditions over the past couple of years. What is it that makes Jack inhibitors a game changer for treatment of alopecia areata? Yeah, it's really exciting. 2022, I would say, was the year of the Jack inhibitor. And indeed, we had four FDA approvals in 2022. And one of them was the first ever Jack inhibitor, well, the first ever systemic therapy for alopecia areata. And that was baricitinib or Illumiant. Um, and, and what's so exciting is that in the next, well, this year and next year, we'll hopefully see two more JAK inhibitors approved for alopecia areata, which truly changes that disease forever. And it means that we can now take a disease that has always been refractory to treatment and make it better in a majority of people. And so truly change the landscape of a disease, a horrible disease forever. In 2022, the first ever targeted treatment for alopecia areata um, was approved by the FDA for adult patients. What additional treatments uh, or FDA approvals can we expect to see in the year 2023? Yeah, so in 2023, hopefully we're going to see approval of ritlocitinib. And this is particularly exciting because it is the only JAK inhibitor to date that has been in trials in patients 12 years of age and up. And so because alopecia areata frequently affects adolescents and children, we need a medicine that is approved for use in this population. And so ritlocitinib could be a similar, just as Illumiant or baricitinib changed the landscape forever in 2022, ritlocitinib could change things forever because we will hopefully see an approval down to age 12. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Any pearls? Oh, I think, I think everybody with their patients with alopecia areata should be thinking about using oral minoxidil in combination with JAK inhibitors, right? We want to do every little last thing uh, to increase the proportion of patients who do better and better. And mostly, we should just all be super excited. Uh, it's, it's a disease that's truly horrible. Uh, and, and dermatologists are uniquely able to uh, reverse that and change the lives of these people forever. And so we should just all be really excited about these developments. Thank you so much, Dr. King. You're doing amazing work. Thank you so much.